going on traders it's rookie with tech with solutions so just on the recap on today's trading i do want to give a shout out to all the members that participate in today's trades just like we always do during the pre-market group chat within tech with solutions we shout out a number of stocks that have you know pretty good pretty good um just layouts for the following morning right so jnug uh seemed to have held at 6 30 and that seemed to be a constant you know support for it um and there's just a series of stocks snap was actually bouncing uh dgas um had a really low uh, it was in a sense oversold, um, so it had a good buy ratio, um, and then DRYS um, also showed a lot of signs of upward moment, uh, momentum. Um, and I do want to give a shout out to all those that were very you know, active within our group this morning. We ended up, I think, being one of the most active group chats or days um, that I've noticed, uh, just because of the number of the hundreds of messages that we were sharing. So I do want to give a shout out to all the members within our group. Um, if you guys don't know what it is, it is a free group that you can join. We're sitting a little bit over um, 8,600 uh, members, I believe, worldwide with all the different platforms we have available. You simply just click on the link down below. It's a free group that you can join through Facebook. And then once you join, um, it actually has a selected amount of group chats that you can join uh, to better assist you, you know, um, with networking with, um, you know, like-minded individuals when it comes to investing. Um, it's a very welcoming environment. So let me go ahead and jump right into it. Ended up trading four different stocks. Um, JNUG, if you guys didn't see my recap, from yesterday I ended up holding this one overnight um, was able to lock in $180 worth, worth of profit um, DRYS was one that I traded TOPS um, and CERU um, so let me go ahead and just start with JNUG because that was one of my first trades uh, so JNUG ended up um, as of yesterday right uh, ended up playing out pretty well so pretty much um, if you guys saw my pre-market alert I said that there was a support at 630 ended up holding pretty well did break a little bit below and then started to rise Ended up selling at 650 with a stop loss. So as soon as it broke above 650, because of this resistance I identified, as you see here during pre-market hours, I knew it was struggling to break about 650. My average was at six dollars and thirty-two cents, and I wanted to make sure that because of how much I had invested in it, that I would lock in my profits or get out of JNUG as soon as I could. So when I saw that it was in the green, ended up you know or close to the resistance, I didn't want to get greedy. It went to like you know six fifty-two. I put my stop loss at six fifty, and I stop loss right away. It didn't hold very long. It came back down to six forty, and then you know now it's showing signs of upward momentum, which is pretty nice. Um, other than that, um, that was pretty much my trade. It was pretty simple. Um, I was pretty much averaging down all of yesterday um, as it was coming down. I ended up averaging down from the 655 all the way down to 605, 10 average of um, 632, and um, just it ended up playing out pretty well, right? Um, I don't like holding this one for too long just because of how much I had invested. So just wanted to lock in my profits right away and was able to walk away with $180. Uh, when it comes to trading JNUG, so that was pretty nice. Now, um, moving on to DRYS. The DRYS was one that jumped in right away during, um, right at market open, and the reason I decided to jump in was because of the huge dip it had. So, um, it's been showing steady growth from this bounce at um, the $1.30, um, and it's kind of coming back to where it was, I believe, 10 days ago. Not 100% sure. Yeah. And as you can see, there is a resist, uh, resistance here at 170. So again, it's created kind of this, this U, right? This bounce. Uh, the support at 130, which it previously had even before this. Um, and now it's, it's pretty much capped it out. And where is a good sell point? For understanding this history of 170 to be a good resistance, um, then you know ideally that, that is where I'm, um, I'm going to plan to sell, right? I'm going to get a little bit closer so you guys can see how it played out. Um, and I played it very safe. I should have held a little bit longer. I would have brought in a lot more profit. But I was kind of skeptical on DRYS if it was actually going to break, you know, all the way up to that 170 like it did pre-market. Um, so that's what I identified, you know, the resistance at 170 for me. During pre-market, I also was able to identify the support. Um, and the support was around 160. I ended up putting my limit at 160. And when I did, it actually filled at 159 because of the sudden drop that it had. Uh, right away, right when it got filled, it pumped back up uh, within the first 15 minutes, um, and I was back in the green. It started to rise, and it went to 168. I put my stop loss at 165 because I didn't want to, you know, lose. I didn't want it to continue to drop down. I was scared that because it went down to the 160, that it was going to continue to staircase down. So to prevent that, I wanted to lock in my profits and not get too greedy. But what happened was because I did that, I ended up stop-lossing out at 165. 
um, and it was able to bring in you know $114 worth of profit, which wasn't bad. Um, but the potential that I had was a lot greater, right? I should have just kept my stop loss at 160 um, or 159, and I would have not necessarily stop lost out, and my potential for profit would have been a lot greater. I could have locked in, you know, ideally I probably would have sold at 170 or 1.699 um, realistically because that is the resistance that I identified. Um, and it was just a couple minutes later, I believe 30 minutes later, that I hit that point. But a lot of traders, because of my alert, were able to benefit from my trade um, or my alerts. Um, and that's the whole point of this, this group. If I'm not able to you know, benefit from it, then you know hopefully others can. Um, now with TOPS, right now I actually just got the alert that I went below 110. Um, so I probably stop lost out. Um, but realistically with TOPS, um, it had a huge drop during uh, right at market open. And although a lot of traders jumped in, and what I was telling them to really focus on was for that upward momentum. I wanted to make sure that they saw a bounce. Um, and I've talked about it multiple times before. It's not about getting at the lowest point. It's about getting when it's moving up. Um, and that's ideally what I was waiting for. So um, as it dropped, I wanted to make sure that it bounced. Um, it did end up bouncing at 108. That's the low that it hit. So I had the opportunity to get in at 108, but I didn't know that that's where it was going to stop at, right? Um, um, it's just started to ride back up, and again, this is within five minutes. It hit highs of you know 119, and it hit lows of 108. So that's a huge range, right? Um, and within that, um, I was able to get in at 112, so that was above the EMA, um, and then it started to show signs of upward momentum. And well, my whole plan was, look, I'll put my stop loss at 1.099, and I got in at 112, and my plan to sell will be around 115, 120. Um, realistically, it did play out that way. Um, but it was actually showing signs of downward momentum after it popped up, and I had a stop loss set at 1.1499, meaning that I locked in my profit pretty much at $1.15 uh, for my buying at 112. Again, not the largest amount of profit; it was $81 profit. Um, but what I could have done better, as of you know, my how today played out, um, is not have been, I guess, so safe. Right? Um, I I always try to lock in my profits as much as I can, but that played out. For me um, not to work out the best today um, instead of buying in at 112 and selling at 115 I had the potential to buy in at like, like I did at 112 and sell more at you know that 120 resistance because during pre-market hours that's what I identified right um, and you know that would have been profit that would have been a lot greater my risk wasn't really there but I just didn't want to go back in the red um, and that, that's just something that I have to work and I have to um, build my confidence when it comes to like the certain stock that I got in. Uh, but TOPS was just showing a huge increase in volume uh, and I didn't feel too comfortable um, having my stop loss there just in case you know it wouldn't stop loss out. I was scared that it was going to skip my stop loss. So that's just something that I have to work on. Uh, but again, not a bad trade. I ended up locking a good amount of profit. And then I jumped back in at 110, um, but now it's at 108. So I'm pretty sure I stop loss that at 1.099. So. Um, C E R U. Um, this one I jumped in uh, when it went above one dollar. I missed it. I did call it out during our pre-market movers group chat um, when it had that huge drop. Uh, I called it out when it hit the one ten, um, and I called out the support around seventy five as that was the resistance. I ended up bouncing at about seventy eight, and I was actually thinking of getting in, um, but again I didn't. I think I ended up jumping into T O P S instead, um, and. You know, it, it played out very well. Uh, a lot of traders were able to jump in because of my alert and were able to write it, you know, 30% plus profit um, from all the way from the, you know, 76 support. It actually did play out pretty well. 76 support, kind of like how I called it at 75. Um, and then the resistance um, right around 108 to 110. Um, I, I saw $1 to be a resistance. So what I actually did was I waited for it to go above $1. Um, and when it went above one dollar, I ended up jumping in, and I called it out as I was going. Um, the reason I got in above one dollar was because um, I, I knew, or I traded it the time before, when it went above one dollar, um, it, it pretty much spiked. It didn't hold very long, but I knew there was going to be some area of profit. I knew the resistance was around one ten, and because of that, um, I followed with a trailing stop loss at one o five, and I think I did good with this one because. The reason I stopped lost that 105, I ended up locking in my, you know, 5% profit there. Um, so, you know, $150 for that. And it was a very quick trade. It was about, you know, you know one to two minutes. I was in and out. Um, it hit highs of 108. Um, and I had my limit order at 109, um, thinking that it was going to get close to that 110 resistance. But it just didn't, um, you know, squeeze on through. So 
locked in my profits from one oh um one dollar to one oh five and then it continued to just bleed down. It looks like it's built a support about ninety cents. Um, but ideally, um, CERU isn't just one that holds very well. As you can tell, during pre-market hours, it continues to drop. So we'll most likely see it break below the support and continue to drop down to $0.76. Cents. Um, but that is it for my trades today, guys. It was $525 worth of profit. That was all within one hour, so it was an amazing day. If you guys didn't see my video yesterday, I did talk about, um, you know, how to deal with, like, pretty much a red day if the market isn't, you know, giving or, or working with what it is that you're trying to do um you know don't don't force it you know don't chase stocks you're you're really not going to be successful when you chase stocks you're going to end up you know losing more money than you're going to be making so although we didn't have the, the best day yesterday today definitely made up for yesterday's slow day so that's what it's all about it's about you know being patient waiting and um setting up setting up a plan for success if you guys see everything that i did we're all based on technical analysis and um, pretty much this group, right? It's all about exposure. Um, so I do want to give a shout out to, again, every single member that participated in today's trades, um, as well as there's one of our members that has consistently been able to, you know, lock in a good amount of profits. Name's Jose is about those. And there's a series of other members uh, within our group that, you know, did very well today. So thank you guys again. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys know how to reach out to me. If you guys can like and subscribe, you know, we'd greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys have an amazing day and, you know, Make sure uh, we end the week on a green note. Take care, guys.